home. It's stories. Be supportive. Be accommodating. Small forest bath. Transformative. Supportive. Cultivation. Genuine. It's home. I'm not the same person that I was when I came here. Um, and I suppose that happens at any university. That's just kind of the, the phase you're in, in in life. But I think the way CMU uh, kind of molds you into who you are uh, is is unique and uh, is something I've really come to, come to value. So to have this community that is sort of driven by the same desire for, for learning as I am um, has been really neat. And we don't necessarily all have to be coming to the same conclusions or asking the same questions or anything like that, but just that we're all driven by the same yearning for knowledge, I guess. <laughs> to understand my stories, to come closer to God in a way that I was not before. And that's why I, I think I want to call it a path, because you, I did not know it would look like this. This transition process was a bit hard in the beginning, but like a, like a, my colleagues, the staff, like a, they, they made me feel part of like a, a big community. The programming that CMU offers through counseling services, uh, financial and academic advising, those are some of the really key things that I think CMU uh, offers. Getting around campus um, or even note-taking or just a listening ear that we're all in this together. There's more attention given, like there's more support. I feel like if you don't understand an assignment or if you're having some problems with some material in the class, I mean the professors seem to have more time. I think that CMU is a place of cultivation. I think it's a place of cultivation in terms of knowledge and ideas because obviously you have the lectures and you have the learning and you have the textbooks and you have the thinking and the projects. Um, but it's not just about the knowledge, it's about the ideas going further, it's cultivating ideas within people to make a change. You have voices of people that come from uh, Nigeria and are speaking with people that have grown up in Steinbach their whole lives um, and both perspectives are heard and the way that those stories interact and uh, shed light into different perspectives. Uh, for me it's been realizing how much depth there is to, is to story, storytelling, I would say, um, and how much, uh, how much that makes a difference in our world, how we tell stories, how we uh, communicate with people, even if that's just in conversation. It's not just about how well you can play the piano or how difficult of a song you can sing, but really what are the big fundamental questions that you translate into the music that you perform. With the profs, it's a lot of one-on-one -on -one time, a lot of office hours that you can get with them. And uh, it seems like they just kind of go the extra mile for every student because they have the ability to focus on a smaller number. Just the first week was overwhelming for me. I would tell everyone like how overwhelmed I was because I could feel in every single person working here how they sincerely cared about you they really wanted to get to know you. They, and professors, like I've been here for a year now, and professors just like, they really want you to learn and they really care about you. One of the great things about being in a Christian university context is that it allows me to bring my faith in and um, actually make me think deeper. There are people from many backgrounds here at CMU as well, from other faith backgrounds within Christianity or outside of Christianity that have um, been in my classes and through class discussions and stuff, you kind of glean a bit of what they, they believe as well. Over here at CMU, you never felt like something like that, like you are just a number. People know you by name. I feel like it's just a great environment that sets you up for success.